Hi everybody, it's Valerie from Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet. I hope everybody's doing fantastic. Um, today is Tuesday, August 27th, 2024. And it's almost 8 o'clock in the morning, so I'm getting an early start on this video. Um, I wanted to show you some things that I finished and some things that I am still working on and my plans for the coming week. So let me just dive right in. Um, my first finished object is this adorable little mouse. <laughs> and I think this is going to go to my neighbor. Um, she's always bringing uh, treats and everything over to me. She's an excellent baker. Uh, cakes and cupcakes and cookies and you name it. So um, I think and she's the one that kind of, she showed me a similar mouse uh, pattern and said I should make it not for her but um, I am gonna make this I'm gonna give it to her because I wouldn't have made it if it wasn't for her so the link to this pattern is in the description box below I did not end up making the outfit for it um, and this is not something that I would probably make to sell just because there's so much sewing um, and there's a lot of work I love how the tail is done it's almost like a tube, sort of, but it's, um, yeah, it's not, it's really, it's a neat technique. Anyway, um, I would definitely recommend the pattern. It's fun, it's fun to do. It's just not something that I could churn out quickly to, um, you know, make for a craft fair necessarily because there is a lot of work into it. So I'm just going to give this one to her. Um, the other finished object I have is my Feel Better Friend doll. So she's going to go in the mail today or tomorrow. And here she is. And I did purchase a dress for her. And I got, um, these are a uh, dog, dog like poodle and other dog, like um, their ear, ear bows, <laughs> whatever you want to call them. There's rubber bands around the ed, um, the ends and they're just perfect for doll hair. Um, and so... Um, I ordered her dress off of a um, a shop from an Etsy shop, and I've used this shop before, and she's an amazing person, and um, her dresses are a good price, and they just perfectly fit the doll. So she is ready to go in the mail and make a little girl very happy. So that is another finished object. I also have a whole box full of finished objects. Actually, it's a drawer. These are all finished objects that I just finished within the last day or two. So let me take some out and show you. And I know I may have shown these to you in the past as works in progress. Um, I spent a lot of time this past week stuffing things. And then yesterday I made happy faces on a lot of these. So there's a bunch of chicken nuggets, and this is not um, a written pattern. This is just my pattern, and I think there's much cuter chicken nugget patterns out there. So I'm not even going to write this one up. It's basically just like a, um, a tube, basically. <laughs> so I think I have like 16 of these. So obviously I don't need to show you every single chicken nugget, but there's, I think, 16 of them in, them in here. So there's a bunch. I finished up some of the Mushy Boys. So I've got maybe five or six of those in there. And I will link the Mushy Boy pattern below. Although every time I do, I get, every time I put the Mushy Boy pattern in my description box, I get, I get notified that there's like, um, bad comment or something or bad, bad content. I think it's something in the mushy boy title, I, <laughs> chunky or something, something, but anyway, whatever. Um, I did a bunch of turtles and this is with the, um, parfait, parfait chunky. I'm not sure. Um, and I did, oh, the chenille, chenille bloom. Sorry, <laughs> my brain is in a million different places these days. But I did some different shells, um, and I saw this pattern um, 
Ella at No Catchy Name was showing this one day, so I went and I purchased the pattern. Um, it's not her pattern, but she was using it, and I just fell in love. So I will link that pattern in the description box below. And I also finished some more elephants. I just think these are adorable. I like how you can move their trunk around a little bit. <laughs> so I made gray and pink. And I actually took a few of them to the store already. And they I don't know why, but they haven't been selling, but I just think they're adorable. And just for the tail, I just left like a loop of yarn. <laughs> so anyway, so much fun to make these. You do have to um, stitch the ears on, but everything else is part of the elephant construction. So bobble stitches. Um, yeah. So I just think this is a great pattern and it will be linked below too. Uh, so that's it. that is a lot of finished objects that are done. They're off my table. They're in this drawer that I use to store some of my crochet items in. Um, so for works in progress, I have. I'll see if I can show these to you. I showed I showed them to you last week, and I I'm pretty sure. And I said I needed to stuff them. So here is a, a box of stuffed frogs. They're stuffed and finished, except for the details. And here is the other box. And there's, I think, 41 of them. <laughs> so frogs galore. That is my main project for this week, is to get these guys done. Um, on the ones that needed pins. I put pins on before I stuffed them and I made sure they were nice and secure. Um, so like the sheriff frogs, they all have their badges. Um, and these are going to be little, um, if this says, in case you can't read it, I solemnly swear that I'm not up to no good. And I have a little wizard hat and I have a little, um, wizard wand. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that because they're pretty heavy. Um, a wizard wand. I'm not sure if those are going to make it to the final cut, but definitely a little wizard hat that I have a hot, hot glue on. Uh, some of them will just be like this green one, I think. The, the green ones. I think I'm just going to put a smile on it and call it good. So it's just going to be a plain frog. Uh, a lot of these frogs are going to have tutus. So that's going to be a little time consuming to make the tutus. What I do is I use tool and I um, tie it around a hairband. And then the tutu goes right there. And I, I'm sure I've showed you my tutu frogs before. They are adorable. But you'll see them next week because hopefully they will be finished next week. Um, I pulled out a couple of other accessories um, that I may or may not use. I have, sorry for the crinkling, I have some little purses <laughs> that I thought some of the frogs could hold. I thought that would be cute. So we'll see how many of those I end up using. And I do have some, I have some silver ones, ones and I have some pink and blue ones that I thought that the, um, the frog, some of the frogs in tutus could be, could have like a, a little wand like tucked into their arm or something. So I love embellishing the frogs. I think that takes them to the next level and it's so much fun just to think of like, what can I make the frogs look like? But the different, definitely the tutus are the funnest thing, the most fun, whatever. <laughs> so the, um, the frogs are my number one goal for this next week. I want to get them done. I want to get them off the plate. And then I have challenged myself to stick to one project at a time. I know how many times have I said that? Maybe a million. Um, but I really have to because I get so overwhelmed when I've got all these projects going on. So my challenge, <laughs> we'll see if I can even make it one day, but, um, my challenge is going to be start to finish one project. So maybe some weeks I'll only get one project done. Maybe some weeks I'll get 10 projects done one at a time, start to finish 
we'll see. If you know me, if you've been around here any length of time, you know that um, pretty soon I'm back to assembly line making and that's the end of that story. But I really do want to focus on one thing at a time. So once the frogs are done, um, I'm going back to focusing on my mushroom tote. And let me show you the progress that I've made on that. I am so proud of this color work square. I love how it's turned out. I am in love. So um, you want to see the back? Because the back doesn't matter on this project. The bag is going to be lined. So you're never going to see any of this mess. So it doesn't matter. Yep. Doesn't matter. Don't have to worry about that. Um, anyway, so I have... Um, six I need to make in total. So I've made one. So I have five left to go. I put the border on the bottom, the bottom two squares. These are the bottom of the bag. <laughs> and I'm not sure if I'm going to block or not. Um, they're awfully curly, but maybe once everything gets sewn together, they won't need to be blocked. I don't know. And then, of course, I have uh, my blue and brown rectangles. So after I finish the frogs, <laughs> I'm going to finish putting the edges on all of the rectangles with the, with the green. And then I'm going to work on some more mushrooms. So I'm really excited about that. It's turning out really well. This is a, a free pattern by Divine Debris, and I'll put a link to that in the description box. Um, I did end up buying or uh, purchasing the um, the PDF of the pattern, which was, I believe, $5. Um, just because I wanted, I, I figure if I'm using a pattern and there's a purchase option, I do like to purchase it because um, just, just, to, just to support the creator. Um, I know how hard it is to write patterns and it's a lot of work. Um, plus it's something I think, especially having the graph, it would be nice just to have the graph out um, so I can look at it instead of keep, keep having to go to my phone and, and you know, which row am I on? I just think having a physical pattern is a lot better. So I have got that pattern. I sent it to the printer because it's just easier that way for me because my, my, my computer is so old that it's hard to actually get anything to print on it. I can, but it just takes a lot of time. So it's easier to just send it to UPS and they print for me. Um, what else? Oh, I was going to also say that on the, um, I was looking at, at Divine Debris just to see if there were any other patterns that she had. She has so many neat patterns. There is a cat bag that I would like to make pretty soon. And it's very, uh, well, I was going to say it's similar to the mushroom tote, but it's not. <laughs> it's, um, I'll show it to you. I got the pattern for that too. I think that was a $6 pattern. Uh, but I'm going to maybe make that next. I don't really know for sure, but it's really cute. And it's, it's color work too. And I've been wanting to do some color work pieces, so... That's going to be great for that. Uh, what else? Let me check my notes here. Uh, yeah, that is that is all of the information on all the news I have on, on whips and finished objects and all kinds of stuff like that. I do want to show you some things that I got in the mail um, for Molly. Um, or because of Molly or... <laughs> Um, because, you know, I told you on my last video that she did, that she did pass away. Um, so I got a, and sorry for the glare, it's still in the plastic. I got a poem about the rainbow bridge. So I'm probably going to get a frame to put it in. So I got that off of Etsy. And then I got this. It's, um, an ornament that is... Um, personalized so Molly it's showing backwards in my screen so I don't know if it's gonna be backwards for you or not 
uh, but it says Molly 2011 to 2024, and there's, of course, the Rainbow Bridge. And it's very, very nice quality. I'm very pleased with it. And I haven't received the rock yet, but when I do, I'll show you the rock. It's not supposed to be here for another few days. And it's an engraved rock that I can use as a, like a little marker where I buried her. And so, yeah. All right, everybody. Well, I'm going to get going on these frogs here. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me today. And I'd love to know what you're working on. If you want to tell me in the comments below. And I will talk to you somewhere next week. Bye.